Uh, hello and welcome back. So what we're going to do in this uh, in this video is create three components. Uh, the first one is going to be the header and then the other ones are going to be what we're going to be considering pages. Uh, for And we're going to be using uh, the terminal to create this. I like to show you uh, one of the packages I use in Atom that allows me to have a terminal inside of my uh, text editor. It's called uh, Platformio IDE Terminal. So what this does, uh, it's pretty simple, does me have a, um, a terminal inside of my text editor. So I'm going to navigate to my source and to my app folder. And here I'm going to generate a new component. In order to do that, you create uh, you type the following: ng regular generate component header. Now, do you remember this uh, spec file uh, that is for testing, which we won't be doing in this uh, uh, tutorial? In order to get rid of in order to get rid of that, you're gonna uh, type dash dash spec and false. False. And as you can see, it created a new folder called header, and it has uh, my header component CSS, my HTML, and my TypeScript. Something I forget I forgot to mention earlier is this very important uh, file called appmodule.ts. So. Here is where we're going to uh, how can I explain it? Kind of inject every component, service, directive, routing, and pipe. Everything goes here. So as you can see, I have my app component and my and my header component. It's also here in my declarations. Uh, in our providers, we have. Uh, something that comes by default uh, when you create your new project with the Angular CLI, the browser module, the forms module, and the HTTP module. In providers, I'm going to show you that here's where we're going to start uh, storing some of our, uh, one of our services. And Bootstrap, uh, this is pretty much what fires our Angular CLI. If you would like to know more about uh, what app module is and the uh, main TS um, file uh, is, please uh, leave a comment and I'll be happy to make a video about it. Anyway, so uh, this is one of the first, this is the component I have, header, and in order to make it work, in order to display it, as you can see, my header have something like header works. So what I need to do is come to my app component, see what our, my selector is. It's going to be WA because that's my prefix. I'm going to come to my app component, that HTML. I'm going to get rid of this. And here I'm going to paste WA header. And if I save it, I have header works. Uh, do you understand where it's coming from? It's coming from this template. So this template is being sent to my header component using the uh, selector that comes in my header component at TS. And here I have the data of header works. But I'm not going to have a header works here. So what I'm going to do is going, going to create div, which is going to that is going to have a I'm going to have a I'm going to have a navigation tag. And here I'm going to have uh, 
key tag with no reference so far and here I'm going to have the links for uh, current weather and five day forecast perfect so we save this we have the uh, current weather and five day forecast uh, I'll be styling this outside of the video because if not if I show you the styling too uh, it's going to be a really long uh, series okay so this is what we have for now now let's create our other two components that are going to be kind of like our, the pages we're going to have so uh, do you remember how I typed this whole ng generate component uh, header blah 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 so there's a there's an abbreviation for this so we create ng g for generate c for component and uh, we're going to give this a, we're going to give this a name of current and uh, spec dash dash spec and false so I don't have my uh, so I don't have to have the spec.ts file and enter and this is being generated and now I have my current folder and now I want to create another one that is going to be my forecast so uh, type again, again ng g for global c for uh, component and forecast dash dash spec false And I have our forecast. And if we look at our, of, at our app module, here we have it. Uh, current component and forecast component. Now let's plug in our two uh, new components and that's going to be in our app component. So in here, uh, I'm going to type uh, current. It's going to be the selector wa current. And wa forecast. Uh, and as you can see we have both of our pages here but uh, wait a minute usually you'll have this in two different pages or states so uh, what are we going to do next is uh, create um, routing again so uh, if you have any questions leave comments below if you like what you're seeing please subscribe if you hate me you can write some messages too. Alright, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.